bam all right so this is the portion of the stream where we discuss all the the news you know with the lightweight mmos that we play and that we currently cover uh and here eon if you're if you're here the developer we're starting with overlord.gg now there are tons of updates with this game okay since we last spoke there were six updates i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna go through it all i'm not gonna kill you all you know death by powerpoint here uh but just to quickly go over the five that you know just to touch on them but the main one will be what i'm showing on the screen so there was version 3.5 that was runes and cities uh so uh, runes got adjusted and dark spire it's one of the cities their modifiers got adjusted every city has different modifiers there's pros and cons you kind of pick where you want to go uh version 3.4 before that one there was changes to the population uh to guild taxing and the in-game market this is an mmo so the market tweaks for the market are key here because if you play simple ml you know how shit it's, it can get and then version 3.3 there was population and market changes you know it, just additional stuff 3.2 there's ranking changes and changes to the profile 3.1 there is the enslave rate fix so in this game when you pvp players there's a percentage to enslave or to steal warriors or workers um to your kingdom through the pvp and they they adjusted the rates but here's the biggest update version 3.0 0 3.0 okay it's not in 3.0 sorry uh this was six days ago pretty much when we last streamed and this is the barracks special unit system so this is the biggest update to the game um probably throughout all these all six updates okay and this added different units tiered units to your army that adds you know death to the combat because originally it was literally just soldiers there's an armory system where you buy attack and defense items to bolster your stats uh, but this added different units to the game to further enhance your stats and to further um enhance like it just it gave more choice to the players uh to fit your unique play style or at least give you a chance to have a unique play style instead of just spamming soldiers and attacking players. So, horsemen were always in the game. They've been changed slightly. Uh, you have to train them. So all these units, you used to just like get pop every tick, you know, every whatever hours. You get 15 population, and you can choose, you know, workers, soldiers, or horsemen. Horsemen can never be taken from you, but they gave uh, lesser stats than soldiers overall, and they didn't add to your armory slots. Um, and so every soldier you have, you can buy, a, you know, a, a defense or an offensive item for that soldier slot. But there, so horsemen was here, but now we have raiders and raiders, they add, you know, boost to your attack and they increase the loot per PVP slaver sounds just like what it is. You have a higher chance of enslaving, um, the attacked players you know units um and then let's see we have guard it's pretty self-explanatory here they boost your um your defense and they prevent there's a percentage to prevent loot being taken by uh, attackers captain captains reduce the amount of soldiers that can be enslaved or taken from you while you're being attacked uh, with of course other modifiers i'm just trying to i'm trying to focus on what makes them unique here and then transports this increases the percent um, of automatically dispersing resources to your bank because while you're asleep you're going to lose everything it is a pvp game uh so <laughs> this right here um it's a great tool for players to ex you know expand um uh, you know population into and not lose everything when you go honk shoe honk shoe me 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 you know what i mean and that deposit system is fairly new and they added it as a spell there's spells in these games they're just some modifiers for like two hours or so uh guilds have them your player has them and there's spells that increase the percentage of the auto deposit um, as well so you can have the transport units you can have the spells popped from your guild from yourself and maybe save your resources overnight uh, but this was a huge change so if you're playing the game or you're looking into 
playing overlord.gg it's in beta wipes only happen through the phases so from alpha to beta there's a wipe from beta to 1.0 there will be a wipe uh but testing phases are you know i, I don't know yon where are they like a month two months uh it's it's worth testing and this this update here the uh barracks system it just adds oh my god where am i here we go uh you have to like click in it uh all right this this update just adds so much depth to the combat system so there you go no one's just spamming soldiers anymore well maybe i don't know but that's overlord that is the barracks special unit system uh, update i wanted to cover here along with the five other updates that have happened since then in the span of six days um pretty sick pretty sick all right let's move on oh, i need fresca we're moving into idle mmo there is a huge announcement in idle mmo today and it was <laughs> it was a massive ban wave galahad creative released this message at 10 a.m my time us east saying here's a friendly but firm reminder cheating in any form is not allowed that includes using bots scripts macros external tools or creating multiple accounts no exceptions no excuses we've recently given our bot detection system an upgrade that's why we had maintenance yesterday as a result in just the last 24 hours alone we've caught and banned 1016 players recently active accounts for cheating covering 1263 characters in total ignorance of the rules is not an excuse and then there's a link to their code of conduct so apparently there were tons of accounts um well a thousand roughly you know 1200 in the mix there that were using automation for the combat uh and then all obviously excessive accounts so probably just multiple accounts with multiple alts and doing their thing and then they eventually got caught uh but yeah it was a huge ban wave it, it makes you think um because of the update to their bot detection system were they always here or were these were you know were were these the a thousand or so accounts that you know just happened to help idol ml reach you know player online player milestones because we've had that recently we've had you know, I don't want to know celebrating like 5,000, 9,000, et cetera, uh, celebrating a, a crap ton of active players. Uh, so it just, it, it makes me think like, were they always there or did they come at around time where milestones were being celebrated? And it was just unfortunate. Um, that's a lot of accounts. A thousand is nothing to be, you know, to, to look away from, especially in an idle game, but they're still, I don't know, still going strong, dude. They're still going strong and the discord alone is huge. So it was just great to to see this come down uh the ban hammer because usually there are other so galahad creative creates or uh, uh you know manages i don't know developed i don't know their first game is simple ml and we used to in global chat this game doesn't have a chat system but in global chat you would see the ban hammer be dropped and mike the developer um of simple ml and co-dev of i don't know or the main dev um would be like he 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 and he would just start banning people it'd be insane it'd just be insane so good to see an idol mo now it's that popular where there's tons of automation and uh excess of accounts apparently it's just gonna be brief it's about simple mo we've always had a partnership with galahad well simple mo first and then galahad creative as like the umbrella after uh recently and we've re like we've 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 discussed um, terms and like what we could get out content wise from Galahad Creative, and we're we're leaning into the simple mo uh, from the simple mo angle to get answers to the community because you know Mike the dev used to do blog posts about simple mo. He used to discuss his thought process, his the mate you know the the decision matrix uh, you know, or the decision making even behind some of the changes or what they want to do to the game. To address the community and things of that nature of course that has kind of gone away because of uh negative sentiment directed towards him every time he shows up now he's like uh you know public enemy number one apparently but we're using our platform we're using the partnership and we've finally got our first round uh i don't even know what to call it chat help me chat what do i name this we submit a, you know a handful of questions 
um, to Mike through Yomu uh, to get answers. For, you know, we're thinking of calling it like Dev Talks or something. Uh, it's really just a Q and A with Mike, uh, and it's it's text based right now, probably forever. <laughs> I don't know. I've I've never been in VC with Mike uh, besides like once, but Dev Time, yeah, Dev Time, Dev Q and A, something like that, right? Uh, so what what are we starting off with for our first round of questions well we just thought why not address the elephant in the room or the loud elephant in the room but we're going to be discussing well we've already discussed um the the sentiment around simple mo being dead abandoned where we got some really good answers some answers are kind of you know like oh i don't know about that one crazy five set up all the questions but one i submitted one and I did not expect <laughs> Mike, when he got to my question, uh, he literally posted like a Lord of the Ring book. Like I literally got a blog post out of him. It could be its own episode. So I'm excited to read that uh, and share that with everyone. So that's what's going to happen. These dev talks, these dev time, the Q and A's, they're going to be an offline video and then uploaded to the channel. Hopefully Crazyfy and I have time to do that. We're, we're starting to film tomorrow and then have it up you know by the weekend or next week uh, but that's coming that's coming for simple mo so what i'm saying here is when that video comes out and you're a simple mo player like it support it comment on it uh and if you have questions for mike like serious questions for the simple mo because we'll eventually do this, this you know for idle mmo and for other games maybe eon from overlord he's here i don't know uh but for simple most specifically, those videos are going to be the way we we can hopefully get things to Mike for him to answer. Uh, so yeah, that's just what we're. That was like the tease. Uh, it, it was great. He provide. I mean, it took forever, chat. It took like two weeks to get this done. Uh, but he provided some really great answers from his point of view, not as you know the CEO of Galahad Creative, like, but from Mike. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited to share that with everyone here. That's really it for the news. We can like. Man, I'm good, dude. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a great stream. 